Hello and welcome to another episode of Hard On Hardware and my speculative tech videos. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm pretty sick of this generation of GPUs. Vega is a complete unicorn and, well, Pascal has been around since the beginning of time. They should just bring out Volta and Navi already. Now this video is going to be about how I think that Navi isn't going to be aimed at the high-end PC gamer and that, well, AMD has just kind of given up competing with Nvidia at the high end. Now before I go any further, I just want to make it clear that I'm talking specifically about the high end. So Navi is not going to try and compete with the Volta version of like the 1080 and the 1080 Ti. And I think there are four reasons why this is pretty likely. Reason number one is that AMD always seems to be one step behind Nvidia when it comes to high end gaming graphics cards. Now the current generation is the clearest indicator of that, Vega versus Pascal. Pascal came out like a year before before Vega was released, and then Vega was only just competitive when it came to like raw frame rates, um, but ran hotter, uh, didn't overclock as well, and used a lot more power. And this is a bit of a theme for AMD's high-end graphics cards. If you look at the R9 Fury X, it came out just before the 980 Ti did, which was great for release time frame. But then it performed, sim even though it performed similarly, it was hotter, used more power, and didn't overclock as well. If you look at the R9 390X, which competed directly with the 980, performance was great, but it came out way after the 980 did and was very hot overclocked badly and used a lot of power. If you look at the 290X versus the GTX 780 Ti, this is another case where AMD actually came out before Nvidia did, and the 290X performed really well, but was very hot, used a lot of power, and you guessed it, didn't overclock very well. And all of these cases meant that AMD didn't sell very well compared to Nvidia, because yes, they brought out a competitive card, but it took very long, and when it did come out, it used double the power for the same performance, and then, well, why would you buy the AMD alternative? Reason number two makes a lot of sense if you keep reason number one in mind. High-end graphics cards are really difficult to develop, and they cost a lot of money to actually build and make one that's really good. And the thing is, because of how expensive they are, not many people buy them. I mean, how many people really have $700-odd to buy a graphics card? So it means that your profit margins aren't huge at the high end. And with AMD's sales history with high-end graphics cards, I think they've just kind of gotten to a point where, why bother? We're doing really well with our CPUs. We're doing well in all of the other graphics card spaces. Everything but high-end gaming, we're doing really well. So what's the point in wasting all of our R&D if we can make a lot more money catering to other customers? Reason number three comes from CES. Now, at CES, AMD kind of launched their, their roadmap for the graphics cards that are going to come out over the next year. And there was a very interesting product on this lineup called Vega, Vega 7 nanometers. I was super excited when I saw that. I was like, yes, finally they're bringing out uh, a refresh to Vega, which means that it's going to be potentially more power efficient, overclock more, more effectively, and be less hot because, you know, it's a die shrink. But then they crushed my dreams by saying that they're only going to bring out a Vega Instincts version of the graphics card. They're not even going to bother bringing it out for gamers. So that means that the gamer is behind the machine learner and unfortunately not in the kinky way. So AMD, reevaluate your priorities. Reason number four is the weird mixed signals that AMD has been giving about Navi. Now before the GTX 1080 Ti came out, and I think AMD thought that Vega was going to be genuinely competitive and actually disruptive, they released a statement saying that Vega is going to be the last big GPU that they're ever going to make, and that Navi is going to be a small efficient graphics card that you can put like three of in a PC and it'll just run very well. Then the 1080 Ti came out, and I think they kind of realized that Vega was much worse than they thought it was going to be. And then they kind of said that, oh, Vega's, mm, it's nothing. You know, RX Vega is going to be good, but not that great. The graphics card that you have to wait for is Navi. Navi is going to be the truly revolutionary GPU. Now, the thing is, they don't here specifically say that Navi is going to be super powerful, like one GPU to rule them all. They just kind of said that, yeah, that's the graphics card to look out for. 
So that could mean that because it's going to be so efficient and scales really well in multi-GPU setups, you can have like 10 of them in a PC and then play Crisis at 4K, which will be super exciting. And those are my four reasons for why I think Navi isn't going to be able to compete in the high-end gaming space. Now let me just again clarify this, I'm not talking about anything other than high-end PC gaming. Um, I think if you're waiting for a mid-range card, Navi might be amazing and I think it could potentially be very disruptive at the mid-range. Um, but if you're waiting for a 4K 120 FPS GPU gaming monster, then well, you're not going to get it with Navi. If that's what you want, I think wait for Volta because Volta is shaping up to be an amazing GPU architecture. If you look at the Titan V, it performs really well in gaming and it's not even a gaming graphics card. I, it, it should perform well, it is a $3,000 card, but I really think Volta is going to be brilliant. And I think AMD knows that they can't compete with Volta because, well, they haven't been able to properly compete with NVIDIA at the high-end gaming space for a long time. Now, everything that I said in this video is purely my speculation. Maybe Navi is going to be the most powerful GPU that any human being has ever seen, because well, they did tell us just before Vega launched that Navi is the one to look forward to. But anyway, if you liked the video, do like and subscribe to the channel. And um, yeah, there's going to be more videos like this coming soon. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.